The Disney Lego Castle. I got it for the Christmas, for the Christmas, the Christmases. Hi everyone, my name is Obi-Wan Kenobi. Let's get started. Now before we get into the video, I just want to remind you that there are links in the description box so that you can donate to help fight the wildfires in Australia. Koali Pops is named after koala bears because of my love for Australia. Every little bit helps, so if you can, please donate. Now this isn't a tutorial video, I just wanted to share with you my Lego castle and I thought it'd be fun to watch. So here is my time lapse. Disney has been a part of my life for like a bazillion years and I'm only like 25 or 37 <laughs> somewhere between there you guys you guys pick a number in between there and I'm somewhere in that area Watching that blue background with the silhouette of this white castle go up was one of the most magical things growing up. I remember watching The Lion King, I remember watching Mulan and Pocahontas in the theater. And I was so young and so excited that I would talk through like the entire movie, like kids do. And it didn't hit me till later why my mom kept going, shh, shh, you gotta be quiet. <laughs> Now as an adult, I want to turn to those kids and be like, shh, quiet, we're watching a movie. Because of the nostalgia each of the new movies brings, I'm fascinated by the business side of Disney. The studios create movies, then the theme park realizes that this character is beloved and they should turn it into a ride. And then there's a popcorn container that looks like the Millennium Falcon because everybody loves the Millennium Falcon. And there's an apple that looks like Maleficent because Maleficent's bum. There's so much synergy between so many different elements that the Disney Corporation owns. Theme parks, movies, television, and even like ESPN gets to debut trailers because they're part of the Disney family. They've got this huge monopoly on the box office because it's like almost everything Disney touches turns to a billion dollars. <laughs> well, except for penguins that only made seven, but that's okay. You know, a lot of that is the nostalgia that we feel when we see these animated characters being brought into the live action realm. But a lot of it is because of the trust that we've built with this company since we were younger. And I know there are a lot of misses. I mean, Lion King wasn't a perfect movie, all right? And a lot of y'all really wanna fight me on the rise of Skywalker, but I liked it and I'm gonna stand by it. I think that 
at what Bob Iger and Kevin Feige have been able to accomplish with the Walt Disney Company and Marvel will be remembered in such a profound way, the way that we remember the creation of Marvel characters with Stan Lee. Yeah. And I'm excited to see what's to come. But also, if you can just go back and make the lion's faces move a little bit more, I'd be happy with that. <laughs> My favorite part about this castle is all of the tiny details that represent so many of my favorite beloved Disney characters and movies. The lamp from Aladdin, the two frogs from Princess and the Frog, Sleeping Beauty's bed, the rose from Beauty and the Beast, and even a lock of hair and a pair of scissors from Mulan. Crazy. I was very fortunate to get this castle for Christmas. Um, I wanted to buy it for myself but the price tag, ooh, it's just too high. So I was ecstatic to receive this as a present. Yeah, oh, it was, it's glorious. Um, if you are a Lego fan, then you know that this footage isn't me building the castle. It's me taking it apart in reverse. <laughs> I have footage of me building the castle, but it's not as pleasing to watch because you're not stacking it the way that you're stacking it. You're building this piece here, you're building that piece over there, and then at the end, it kind of comes together as a castle. But when you're looking back at the footage, it's like, this looks weird. What, where does that go? Okay, that's not fun to watch. But because I was able to take it apart the way that I thought would be pleasing to the eye, it looks amazing when I'm putting it back together. But in actuality, I'm gonna have to rebuild it again. <laughs> Which I'm happy to do because I love the footage. Now if you wanna see more Lego builds or dismantlings give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments i hope you guys enjoyed this i love you i will see you very soon peace